Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about an exciting story involving the player Genet and his journey in the world of hockey. Genet was in Arizona preparing to face the Coyotes when he received word that he had been traded to the Bolt State. From then on, he had to adapt to a new time, a new city and a new style of play. Let's follow this journey of overcoming obstacles and see how Genet managed to stand out in the world of hockey. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. It was just another game day for Tanner Genet on Sunday night in Tempe, Arizona. His drumsticks were engraved. His equipment was in his stall. Her skates were sharp and ready to go. But after participating in pre-game warm-ups with the rest of his Nashville Predators teammates, things quickly changed. Just as the puck was scheduled to drop at Mullet Arena, the Predators sent out a tweet announcing that Genet would not be playing in the game for business reasons. I didn't know anything, said Genet. I warmed up before the game normally. Nino, Niederreiter, had been traded the day before, so there was a bit of a feeling that things could be happening I guess. But I really didn't expect anything to happen to me. I was pulled by the coach after the warm-up and he told me I wasn't going to play for trade-related reasons. That's all I knew, even until after the game when the guys were getting back on the bus. Playing in only his second full NHL season, Genet had never been traded. The few hours of uncertainty were undoubtedly difficult for the 25-year-old, undrafted winger, who had no idea where he was going to end up. It was a very long wait, explained Genet. Then I got the call and found out it was Tampa. So it was a tough wait after not playing, but I was really excited to know that it was Tampa and that I was going to go to such a great city, great organization, and be a part of something really great. I'm still thinking about everything. It all happened so fast. It was just the initial shock of getting ready to play a game and getting ready to go to war with your teammates, and then being stopped like that and not knowing what's going on. But finding out you're going to such a great organization in Tampa definitely helps the news that you're being traded, when you're going to such a great place. So, like you said, it was a huge rush of emotions. Still I'm trying to process everything and I'm just trying to get there as quickly as possible and make things happen. Genet is a unique player in today's NHL. He brings a physical presence to the table that few players in the league can offer. His 213 hits rank 4th in the NHL and his 9 wrestling championships are tied for 3rd in the league. As a rookie last season, he led the league with 14 wrestling majors and faced some of the best fighters in the NHL. He also found the net 24 times last year, leading all rookies in the league. But the most appealing part of Genet's game is quite simple, he's a pain in the ass to play against. And that's exactly what the Lightning wants at playoff time. When Tampa Bay general manager Julian Brissaboys maintained his mid-season media availability in January, he was asked about potential trade deadline additions and said, I think generally speaking, I would be looking at what we makes a team harder to play against help defend and make us a team harder to play against. That's probably as specific as I can get right now. That's exactly what the Bolts achieved with Genet, who is sure to give his opponent a hard time whenever he's on the ice. My route to the NHL was a little different, said Genet. I was never a guy that got drafted or a highly touted candidate or anything like that, so I always had to fight and fight for my spot. Even going back to WHL, I got invited to camp and kind of had to work harder than everyone else to get noticed. That landed me a spot on the team and I continued from there. It seems to have worked for me so far, so that's what I intend to keep doing, just beating the competition and helping my team. When asked about Genet's combination of tenacity, speed and stamina on Monday, Brissaboy said those were exactly the traits Tampa Bay wanted to add to their roster as the postseason approached. These are quite rare traits, but more importantly, they are valuable traits, said Brissaboys. They help you win. You need these guys to win. We saw that when we had that line of Goodrow, Coleman, and Yanni, Gourd. They all played a similar style. None of them were as big as Tanner. None of them had the combination of size and speed that he has, but they made it unpleasant for the other team, and Tanner is very good at making it unpleasant for the other team. We already have a lot of goals. We have one of the best offensive teams in the league. We have one of the best power plays in the league. Those are not areas we needed to address. What I thought we needed to address was being a tougher team to play against, being a team that can win the close, close playoff games. And Tanner Genet is that guy. That's how he plays. He plays in a way that helps you win those games. In exchange for Genet, who carries an $800,000 hit cap and will be a restricted free agent this summer, the Lightning sent Cal Foot, a 2025 first round pick, a 2024 second round pick, as well as third, fourth, and 2023 fifth round picks for Nashville on Sunday night. In Genet's eyes, the package Tampa Bay sent to Nashville to acquire his services gives him more confidence in knowing the value that Brissaboys and his team see in the great forward. I think that's definitely a good thing and it gives me confidence that I'm going to a place that has given up some things to get me, Genet said. I don't know if many people in Tampa know the path I took to the NHL, but the way I got there, I try to work hard for the people who give me a chance. That's what Tampa is doing here. They're putting a lot of trust in me and they're giving me a chance on their team. 
I'm just going to try to do whatever I can to bring success to the organization and to all the guys there. I just want to make everybody proud and have a lot of success. When the Bolts acquired Nick Paul at the trade deadline last year, one thing he mentioned was how great his new teammates were at reaching out to him, welcoming him, and helping him settle into a new city. Gene had said he has heard from several teammates after receiving a series of text messages from members of the Lightning roster following the official announcement of the trade on Sunday night. He'll already have a familiar face ready to greet him when he arrives in Tampa, as Gene was Braden Point's junior teammate for two seasons with the Moose Jaw Warriors of the WHL. Lots of guys got in touch, Gene said. Ryan McDonough was obviously on the team in Nashville and he gave my number to some of the guys. They were all texting me. I think they were on the plane last night and so was I, so there's been a few quick messages but it's really nice that everyone is reaching out and making me feel welcome. That was really nice. As for Pointer, I can't say enough good things about him. He's an amazing guy. He was a great leader at Moose Jaw. That was back then, but I mean, as you've seen firsthand, his work ethic work and his career speaks for itself. He's definitely always been a guy that I looked up to for his work ethic and stuff like that, so I try to bring that up every night as well. Gene had said he hasn't had many in-depth conversations about what his role will be at Tampa Bay, but he has had a few brief conversations about what the team sees in him as a player. When speaking with Gene, one thing that stood out was a sense of loyalty and pride. With Lightning giving up the assets they made to acquire him, he wants to step in and show that it was worth the price. We had a few brief conversations, Gene said. I think what I need to bring is what I am as a player. That's what they saw in me when they traded me, so that's what I'm going to try to bring. I think there can be different types of aspects depending on the night. I try to read the play as best I can and do what I can to help the team. That could be if the team needs a spark and I need to get out there and play physically, play fast, be hard to play against. It could be a struggle if the time comes or if I need to defend a teammate or something. This is something I can do. Like you said, last year I managed to put the puck in the net quite successfully, so I try to go out there and do everything I can. I'm always trying to be a threat and do something that helps the team win, be it offensively, defensively, in PK, being physical, whatever. That's my only goal is just to help the team. That team was the Predators. Now, it's lightning. This excites Jeanette, a player who longs for the opportunity to pursue what every hockey player dreams of, winning the Stanley Cup. Anytime you go to a team that has the potential to be a Stanley Cup contender, it's very exciting, said Jeanette. Just having the opportunity to play that meaningful hockey and play at the highest level and at the highest stages is what every hockey player dreams of doing. You dream of winning the Stanley Cup. Getting into such a great team and organization and having the chance to do that is what really excites me right now and I can't wait to get started. It's still very, very early. As of 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday afternoon, Jeanette hadn't even landed in Tampa, let alone played. So there is still a long way to go. With that said, Gene it appears to be fairly confident that his time with the Lightning could well extend beyond the 2022-23 season. I think so, definitely, Gene it said when asked if he could see himself signing a deal to stay in Tampa beyond this season. You can't say enough good things about this organization, just the success they've had alone. I'm really looking forward to getting out there and meeting everyone and getting used to the group and everything. It's going to be a really exciting time. I mean, they put a lot of trust in me by negotiating for me. I'm a loyal guy and I like to work hard for those who put their trust in me. I can't say right now what's going to happen. I haven't talked about any of that yet. My focus now is getting there, settling in and accommodating my family. Then hockey starts and we can talk about things from there. But yeah, it's definitely a place I can see myself being. Aside from hockey, I had to ask Jeanne how he felt about moving to the Sunshine State. Oh yeah, the sun will be fine for sure, Jeanne said with a laugh. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't like that. I love being on the water. I love being on a boat or fishing or playing golf, all those things. I just like being in the sun, so it will be great to come there for sure. The water, the sun and a bunch of Bolts fans are waiting for Gina to arrive. He is due to land in Tampa on Monday night before Tuesday's game against the Florida Panthers. If Gina debuts on Tuesday, he would certainly fit in a game against the Lightning's interstate rival, where there has been no lack of intensity over the years.